Okay, welcome to another Real TV Abbey tutorial. Today we'll show you how to uninstall and reinstall Vader. This is really uh, two broken in two sections. One's uninstalling and one's installing. This really works for every add-on out there. But let's start with uninstalling this add-on called Vader. As you can see in videos, it's this Darth Vader icon. If you go to video add-ons, it's that same icon right there. So let's go back and uh, go to system settings. Uh, we'll click in settings in system. Settings is the sub menu. And as you can see, we'll click on add-ons in the text instructions. So we'll click on add-ons. Next, we'll click install from repository. We'll click and install there. Next, we'll click on the Vita Streams TV add-ons. And we'll now click on add-on repository and click and hold the Vader Streams add-on and it will pop up with a dialog box which will then click on add-on information top top selection and then click uninstall and this will uninstall the add-on confirm with a yes and that basically ends the uninstall process moving on to the next step okay so installing Vader we or reinstalling Vader, we'll click on file manager in system. Now this will only work, well this is, we're gonna show you how to install it, install an add-on from scratch, especially since if you're, you've previously downloaded this, re, this repo from a different URL, we're gonna show you from scratch how we do this. System, file manager, then we're gonna click add source. And you know, we've previously installed Vader, so we're gonna do it and show you uh, a new way uh, so we'll, we'll reinstall it again click add source and then click none now we're gonna type in this URL HTTP colon slash slash Vaders TV slash repo if you've pre previously installed this repo you might have used a different URL that's why we're showing you from scratch again we click done to confirm. Uh, we'll rename this repo. As you can see on the left hand side, um, I've installed this as a dot Vader before. So now to show you something a little different, I'm just gonna uh, rename it Vader without the dot in front of it, or the, without the period in front of it, to distinguish the difference. So this is Vader. We'll click done and hit OK to confirm. And we'll show you what this looks like in the next step. So you can see Vader right there. It's different than the previous installs I've done. Okay, so now to the next step. We will now click System Settings, as it says on here. Click System Settings. We'll click on Add-ons, as it states here. We'll click Add-ons. Click Install from Zip File. We'll click Vader. Depending on what you saved, this was ours, or this is mine that I installed. And we're going to click repository, which is this one here, the folder, which will reveal this .zip file, and we'll click on that. And this will now install the new .zip file onto your device, as you can see it's updated. And the next final step, we'll click install from repository. We'll click the VaderStreams add-on. Click video add-ons which is the next step and we're almost there. So as you can see, Vader Streams is already enabled and you can click and hold it. It'll open a dialog box, add on, click on add information and you can, here you can update, configure it, whatever the case might be. But as you can see on the right hand side, I've updated to the latest version, which is 4.0 and that's how you do it. And we can go back to the home section and enjoy your Vader Streams add on.